Hi guys, this is Niyazul Hasan, Senior Java Consultant of Quality Thought and iHub. So in this video, I'm going to explain why we need to do full stack Java course. See, for example, today you go to any job portal and if you go and check JD job description, then you can find every company is asking for full stack developers only. Not only any job portal, sir, if you go to any company like MNC or medium scale company or small scale company, they do have JD job description. If you do R&D, you can find they, they are looking for full stack developers. So that is the reason today we need to do full stack Java course. So not only in Java, you need to do full stack, sir. For example, tomorrow, if you want to do .NET, so companies are asking for full stack .NET developers. So if you want to do Python, they're asking for full stack Python developers. So if you want to do, you know, uh, Node.js, then you need to do man stack or mean stack as a full stack courses. Means today, if you go and check any training institute or any IT company, everyone are asking and everyone, you know, offering you full stack only. So, but when we have multiple full stack courses, for example, we have a Java full stack course, .NET full stack course, Python full stack course, MUN stack, MEAN stack. When we have this many mul multiple full stack courses, then now the question will come, why we need to do Java full stack course? See, Java is having more demand in IT industry. And you know, it is a versatile language in IT industry. Versatile means Java is used to develop various types of applications. For example, using Java, we, you can develop standalone applications. You can develop desktop applications. You can develop two tier applications. You can develop distributed applications. You can develop enterprises applications, ERP applications. Okay, so we can develop any type of applications today that is the reason the demand of Java is increasing day to day. And even nowadays, Java is used for creating backend APIs also. And even we are creating the microservices, you know, because of that, uh, lots of projects uh, are migrating, migrating to Java so that, you know, the performance of the application has to be improved. And, uh, you know, that is the reason, that is the reason the packages of Java is also very high when compared to other domains. So I especially recommend if you are from any background, sir, if you are from, you know, B.Tech background or C BSc background or BCom background, today everyone can learn Java because, you know, depends on the company's eligibility criteria. You people are attending the interviews and you people are getting the packages. For example, some non-technical people, what they are thinking, non-technical people means those who are from BCom background, they are thinking that they don't have any scope or they do not have any opportunities in an IT company. So, sir, it is not like that. For example, MNCs will not give any opportunities to the BCom people, but you can target to medium or small scale companies only. Huh. After having some experience, then you can you can go to the MNC, you can join to the MNC, you can work with MNC. So not only BCom sir, even if you are from BSc background, MCA background, or if you are a graduate, then you are eligible to do a Java course. And as I said, from last 30 years, I have been seeing that Java is running in IT industry successfully. And I believe in next 30 years also, Java will run successfully, sir. So. What I especially, you know, came in front of you people only to give you some career guidance so that tomorrow you should not have any conflict. Tomorrow you should have not have any confusion about your career decision, sir. So if you're building, if you're planning to build your career in IT industry and if you wants to learn programming, then please go with Java because Java is very easy to learn. For example, if you go and check uh, the definition of Java, Java is a high level language, a language which understands by user easily. 
so understanding and using of java is very easy and uh, you know java is widely used into multiple projects today and the demand of java is increasing so that is the reason job opportunities will be more and more in java some students what they are thinking you know they are thinking sir could you please tell me which language very easy to learn so remember as a graduate student we should not check which language is very easy to learn as a graduate student we need to check which language is having more jobs which language is having more job opportunities so please understand sir we need to work hard if we work hard then only success will come for example for example if i am thinking that i wants to become a millionaire billionaire so by thinking i won't become a millionaire or billionaire so remember if i do work hard so definitely i will get successful so that's the reason i am telling you some people what they will do they will say after taking the course they are not getting the opportunities Uh, you know in the company no it is not like that why because if you want work hard you will get fail in interview and you will not get the opportunities and i have seen very successful students uh, in uh, our quality thought who got place uh, with good good package and even they have dropped a lot of reviews in our website so if you want to go and check those reviews in our website i hub and quality thought you can go and you can check and you can revert back to us so this is what i want to explain in this video so definitely i am going to post more videos about our career about our java and about our java topics in future so what you can do now you can subscribe our channel and you can like this video and i will meet you in the next video guys